are the Knights of the Everlasting Light any good? If Franz can ever get an Elector Count in Ostermark under his banner, he can get this unit of Empire Knights, part of the Imperial Supply Troops mechanic. Are they any good? They are magical attack, so they're good at sending ghostly units back to the grave. Forget the Ghostbusters, recruit these guys. Recruited for 1000 gold and 250 upkeep, on Ultra you get 60 entities with 6480 health between them. But wait, 110 armor, sure, but these are silver grade shields with a 55% missile block chance. That is not normal. Leadership 70, speed 78, that is normal. Melee attack starts at 26, usual figure, but you get magical attack, which is pretty awesome. Attack interval is 5.1, no splash damage, and the rest is normal. Melee defense 30, weapon strength 30, split 21 base, AP 9, charge bonus 48. However, Blinding Radiance is a permanent hex aura which blinds enemy units in a 35 meter radius and causes minus 8 melee attack which is really good, and stacks with anything else you're throwing at the situation to tip the scales in your favor. I'll breeze by the redline skills and the tech tree may change in 5.0, but probably not hugely, where melee cav are concerned. This guides us into how we should use these knights. They are still shock cavalry, living and dying off the ability to get a clean charge off. But if they can do so, you are in a great situation. All your usual tricks apply, lords, heroes, magic, and the support of other units. Also, you have even better success charging into the other side of a unit being hit by handgunners, though handgunners have zero penetration through enemy into these two. Point being, friendly fire gets blocked too when it's small arms. You can use that. If the magical attack isn't useful, those shields might be, so abuse that against missile heavy factions and clean out every bit of their backlines that you can. Take care, and have fun bringing light onto the Dark Hordes. Conversion by Lance Tip.